Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving for angles of parallelogram. So our objectives are solve the angles of parallelograms, use properties to find measures of angles involving parallelograms, state the different properties of a parallelogram. So our given is parallelogram care. So let's state first yung mga properties ng isang parallelogram. First, we have angle C and angle R are congruent. Angle A and angle E is congruent. So uh, any two opposite angles are congruent in a parallelogram. Next is Using the property of par parallelogram in which any two consecutive angles are supplementary. Meaning of consecutive, magkasunod, supplementary, if, pag, if pinag-add yung magkasunod na angle na yun, they are equal to 180 degrees. So meron tayo angle C and angle A. Pag pinag-add, ang, ang sagot ay 180 degrees. Supplementary, 180 degrees. Angle A, plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Angle R plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. And angle E plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So using the property in which a diagonal, the diagonal of a parallelogram divides the parallelogram into congruent triangles. So angle uh, triangle CAE, is congruent to triangle R, A, E. Okay? So, let's have an example. I have a given of calm is a parallelogram if measure of angle C, L, M is 18 degrees and measure of angle L, C, M is 27 degrees. Let's find Letter A, measure of angle CML. Letter B, measure of angle CAL. Letter C, measure of angle ACL. And lastly, letter D, measure of angle ALC. So first, let's, uh, let's find letter A. Let's find the, uh, the measure of angle CML, which is ito pong angle na Ito. Since dinidivide po ng diagonal ang ating parallelogram, so makakabuo tayo ng two congruent triangles. So sa isang triangle, ito po, ito po yung dalawang congruent triangle natin. So mag-focus tayo sa isang triangle. Sa isang triangle po, minimeasure po nito ay, minimeasure po ng angle na ito ay 180 degrees. So kapag pinag-add po natin yung mga angle sa loob ng isang triangle, dapat ang sagot ay 180 degrees. Okay? So, in triangle CML, measure of angle CLM plus measure of angle LCM plus measure of angle CML is equal to 180 degrees. Tandaan nyo po yun na ang degree po ng isang triangle I 180 degrees. Okay? So, let's substitute kung anong given ang meron tayo. Meron tayong angle CLM, angle LCM. Ang hinahanap natin, si angle CML. Okay? Let's substitute uh, 18 degrees plus 27 degrees plus measure of angle CML is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, 18 degrees plus 27 is equal to 45 degrees plus measure of angle CML. So, para matira lang dito si measure of angle CML, let's transpose 45 degrees to the other side. So, we have the measure of angle CML equals 180 degrees minus 45. 180 degrees minus 45 is equal to 135 degrees. So, ang measure po ni CML ay 135 degrees. So, that's how 
we find the measure of angle CML through the use of angle addition postulate. Next, we have letter B, find measure of CAL. Ito, CAL. Itong angle na ito. Since po, in parallelogram calm, angle CML is congruent to angle CAL. Ibig sabihin, pare sila or congruent. Kung ang measure ni CML ay 135 degrees, ang measure din po ni angle CAL ay 135 degrees because one of the properties of parallelogram is opposite angles are congruent. So, 135 degrees din po ang measure ni CAL. Gets? Okay. Next, we have letter C. Angle ACL. ACL. So, itong angle na ito ang hinahanap natin. Since CA, segment CA is parallel to segment ML and segment CM is parallel to segment AL, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin ng alternate interior angle, ito pong angle na ito, angle CLM is congruent to angle ACL. So, if the measure of angle CLM is 18 degrees, then the measure of angle ACL is uh, 18 degrees also. Okay? Next, we have letter D. Similarly, ang hinahanap natin ay si measure ng angle ALC. Itong uh, part naman ng angle na ito. So, similarly, sa ating letter C, Ang angle LCM, 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 which is ito, ay congruent kay angle ALC because of the alternate interior angle. Alternate interior angle are congruent. If the measure of angle LCM is equal to 27 degrees, then... Measure of angle ALC is equal to 27 degrees also. Okay, so these are our angles. So that's how we find the angles of parallelogram. So let's have another example. Use the figure at the right to find the measures of the unknown variables and the indicated angles. So given parallelogram care, so we have this. Let's find x letter b y c angle r letter d angle e and letter e is angle c so let's find x first so to find x we need to use the uh, consecutive angles which is supplementary to each and uh, to each other so we have angle c plus angle A equals 180 degrees. So let's substitute the value of angle C. We have 2x plus 4. Tapos value ni angle A which is 60 degrees equals 180. 2x plus 4 plus 60 equals 180. 60 plus 4 is equal to 64. We have 2x plus 64 equals 180 degrees. 64, transpose natin dito sa kabilang side. We have 2x equals 180 minus 64. 180 minus 64 is equal to 116. So, para mahanap si x, si x ang material dito sa kabilang side, we need to divide both side by 2. So, 2 divided by 2x divided by 2 is equal to x. And 116 divided by 2 is equal to 58. So, our x is 58. Okay, next, find y. So, dahil ang um, may variable na y ay si angle E, tapos meron tayong 60 degrees dito, we need to apply the uh, opposite angles are congruent. So, angle E is congruent to angle A. So, let's substitute 3y plus 9 equals 60. 
So, transpose natin si positive 9 sa kabilang side. We have 3y equals 60 minus 9. 60 minus 9 is equal to 51. We have 3y equals 51. To isolate 3, we need to divide both sides by 3 para matira na lang si y. 3y divided by 3 is equal to y. And 51 divided by 3 is equal to 70. So, ang value po ng y natin ay 70. So, let's find r. Ito, si angle r. Let's find r. So, let's use again the uh, consecutive angles are supplementary to each other. So, we have the angle r plus angle a is equal to 180 degrees. Since ang value po ni angle A ay 60 degrees, substitute natin siya sa ating equation. We have angle R plus 60 degrees equals 180. Okay. Uh, transpose positive 60 to the other side. We have angle R equals 180 minus 60. 180 minus 60 is equal to 120. So, ang value po na angle R natin ay 120. Okay. So next, we need to find angle E. Since angle E and angle A are congruent to each other, kung ano po ang value ni angle A, if measure of angle A is 60 degrees, then the measure of angle E is also 60 degrees. So lastly, we have letter E, angle C. Since opposite angles are congruent, angle C is congruent to angle R. If measure of angle R is equal to 120 degrees, then the measure of angle C is equal to 120 degrees. Okay, so this is the activity. That's all for today. I hope you're learning.